Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about landscape painting and I want to give you some ideas I found useful when I paint a landscape. The first tip is to choose carefully your subject and follow the rule of thirds. I'm using here a, an old photo as a reference and you can see that it's been cropped quite oddly. The rule of thirds, in fact, is a sort of golden rule to have interesting compositions. In very short terms, one third has to be occupied by the sky and two thirds by the ground. I'm adding, in fact, a little bit of sky to the image in order to follow this rule and get a more appealing composition to the final product. So don't be afraid and choose carefully your subject and modify your subject as well if you think it might be more appealing or more pleasing to the eye. The second tip when you are absolutely happy with the composition, start painting from the very top down. This will help you to achieve better values with the color. Start with very light colors and add more white paint that you think is necessary. I found that for landscape painting, the lighter we start, the better. This will help you to achieve two things. First of all, recreate the depth of field required. Like it's a long landscape and the horizon is far, far away. The second thing is that it will help you to get the main focal point or the main subject to pop up and be more interesting. In this case, the focus is on the two oxen and I want them to be the star. So getting brighter colors and lighter colors on the background will help me to be able to choose the right value of colors to get the oxen to pop up. My third suggestion is to use a very limited palette, a very limited amount of colors. This is particularly helpful if you are a beginner. We all went into art supplies shops and uh, bought one of those cheap sets of paint with 10 different blues and 12 different shadows of green. This is confusing and will create confusion not just in your mind. 